Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Look at Skyrim. As you can see, I've made the kind of unorthodox decision to make my character a train, but I feel like this is really going to help me in the early game, plow through those easy bosses. No, of course, if you're looking at the video title or you're not an idiot, I am playing Train Simulator 2012, aka Railworks 3. Without further ado, let's punch our throttle open here, remove our brake, and push our direction to 100% forward, not 33% forward, I want to go all the way. Now. I picked this up in the uh, Steam sale. It's originally something like $33, but it was on sale for 90% off, so I got it for like $3.75. I figured, if anything, this will just be, you know, $3.75 for a laugh isn't so bad. Now, I'm certainly not qualified to review Train Simulator 2012. I know nothing about trains except for trains go fast and they're more expensive than taking the bus. But what I will say is that, you know, I've played a lot of simulator games this year for Poison Mushroom. Games like, um... You know, street cleaning simulator, farming simulator, uh, definitely more like a truck driving simulator. Train simulator is by far the most relaxing, because it kind of seems like all you do is push this lever forward, and then try to match your speed to the speed limit, which you can see right to the left of our uh, throttle here, and then just kind of kind of go from there. And speaking of which, I am really going to overshoot my speed here, unless I adjust it quickly. There we go. So we basically got three levers here. The Le lever on the left is our throttle, so we push that forward to accelerate. Lever in the middle is to uh, adjust our direction so we can go up or down. Maybe for some DLC you can get left or right, but anyway. Uh, and then the one on the right here, which I just adjusted, was actually the brake. So I'm going to try to increase my speed a little bit more here. Now, this is the career mode, and I know some of you are laughing at home, but hey! Uh, you know, there is some kind of scenario listing in this game, so there are objectives for you to complete. Right now, my objective is that I am driving a bunch of kids on spring break, they really want to go to Los Angeles, so we're cruising through the California wasteland here uh, on our way to Los Angeles, but this doesn't really look like a passenger train. Oh, I suppose it is down there at the back, we just got this engine here at the front. Now our main objective here is just to not go over the speed limit of 45. So you can see that if you look down on the timeline here, uh, you can see what the speed limit is going to be. So right now it's going to be 45 when we come up to this next pass, and then in about uh, you know, close to a mile, it's gonna be 30. And I don't know if that's 30 miles per hour, 30 kilometers an hour, 30 knots, 30 cows jumping on a log, I don't know. Now, if you're gonna buy Train Simulator 2012, you're gonna buy Train Simulator 2012. This video has absolutely no bearing, and honestly should have no bearing, on your decision to purchase it. If you're a train enthusiast, and you, you know, the idea of making some coffee in the morning, you know, maybe getting some lunch, and just sitting down, oh, I'm gonna go over the speed limit, relax, uh, you know, making some lunch and driving a train for 45 minutes, which is the length of this mission. I actually completed this mission once off camera, 45 minutes roughly. Uh, then this is the game for you. I mean, it probably doesn't get any better than this, as I understand it. Railworks 3 is the premier train simulator. Not that there's necessarily a whole lot of competition. Come on. I just got to put the train on cruise control so I can sit here and enjoy the commentary. Of course, as I deride Train Simulator 2012 for being kind of simple, uh, it messes with me. But anyway, uh, yeah, you know if you're going to be into this game. But what I will say is that it's kind of a nice curiosity if you're able to pick it up. Obviously, it's going to be down in the Steam sale for in the like, 3 to $10 range. If you have a passing interest, it might be worth picking up, kind of just as a joke. I mean, $3 seemed like the perfect price for people like me who were like, <laughs> Train Simulator. <laughs> but, you know, there's an admir- Oh, wow, I am way over the speed limit here. The speed limit is 30. Let's slam on the- No, not emergency brake. We don't need to put on the emergency brake. All those people in the back are going to throw up. They're probably already tanked. Okay, let's release our brake. Obviously, I have no idea whatsoever how to drive a train. So I just kind of mess with the throttle and try to get the, the throttle and the brake into some kind of nice equilibrium. He says as he cranks the throttle up to 100. My train is still slowing down, I think, because I slammed on the emergency brake a second ago. Do you think? But once I get to a good speed here, I can actually show you guys some of the, the finer points of the game. So we'll just wait for it to kind of get up to 30 here, and then we'll put the brake on hold so that we maintain our speed. Not as easy as it looks, I mean, here we go, we're starting to get close, let's put, not apply, apply slows us down, put it on hold, there we go. Again, not as easy as you would think, look, my score is already one, minus 199, which is better than the first time I did this mission, I finished at like minus 6,000. Uh, we're still speeding up too fast, so maybe apply a little bit, then go back to hold, 
you know, 31 is okay. There we go. Hold it here. Or to go, oh, we're dropping too fast. There's a lot of drama here. Now, basically the main, uh, you know, thing drawing you, the main draw for Train Simulator 2012 is going to be the simulation aspect. So there's kind of cool things that you can do. For example, you can go inside of your car, and I'm going to need to adjust my levers again really quickly here. So let's adjust our brake. You can see you could actually just turn this if you wanted to, but that doesn't have as much fine control for me. It's still kind of cool. You can push these buttons, make your windshield wipers work. You can honk at passing stations. Ring a bell. The bell is really quiet. And I'm sure there are deeper things. Let's turn that wiper off. We're going to waste so much electricity. I'm sure there are deeper things if you're more interested in trains. Like, this looks relatively realistically modeled from what I can tell. And obviously, as you go over this stuff, you can mouse over and see what it does. That's a re the reverser. What do we have here? Can't click on that. This is the power handle. I love the power handle. It's so bad. If we come down here, I think we've got headlights that we can turn on. So we can, like, turn on the headlights and then see. We probably won't be able to see because it's a daytime. Maybe if we go out to a different view. Alright, maybe you got to hold the headlights in. Uh, but then there's, like, a variety of camera angles. And again, if you're a total train whore, this is going to be what you want to see, right? Like, you want to see this angle and see how clearly they modeled this train. The model 1480 for the Union Pacific F car. I know nothing about trains. Uh, and the, the graphically, it looks fine. This is definitely the best, or at least least annoying simulator that I've ever played. But obviously, it's a game that requires a great degree of patience. Because you are going to have to realize that you're going to be sitting down here and basically driving on a real train route for, like, 30 to 45 minutes. I've seen some missions that are an hour and a half. And, you know, people get really into simulators like this. Like, Microsoft Flight Simulator, they will just wake up in the morning and then take off from O'Hare Airport and then land in Barbados a few hours later and it's like relatively real-time simulation which is kinda neat and at least with this game you're not like you know the joke that I made in the street cleaning simulator was why don't you just go out and become a street cleaner if this is uh you know how you're gonna get your time because it's not like Madden I mean with Madden I can't just go out and like Tim Tebow my way to 14 million dollars a year I'd probably have to start working out or something and that's definitely out of the question but with the, you know, a train simulator, you're probably not going to go out there and just become a train engineer. I could see this being a nice, relaxing time. And there's people who totally geek out over trains. So, I mean, I kind of got this game thinking it was going to be a joke video. And then I figured, you know what? There's definitely a place for this in the gaming landscape. And I'm glad that games like this exist. Now, having said that, I am going to push the throttle forward to 100 here, release the brake, and then just try to destroy this train as best as I can. So we'll see how fast this thing can go. I mean, I'm not driving a bullet train here, but I still think we can go off the rails and make this a crazy train. So we're going to take major, major negative points here for speeding, but oh well. Uh, as we get higher and higher along here, my hope is that maybe we can uh, uh, like derail our train. What's, what's the free camera here? Give me a second here to figure out where it is. It's track side. I don't want that. Head out camera, alright, so like a dog sticking his head out the window. Passenger camera. Yeah, this train is really packed right now. Guys? I'm on a ghost train or something. Where's free camera? That's what I want. Airplane camera. Uh, coupling camera, okay, that's probably useful for something. Free, this is free camera, okay. Then how do I move? I can't figure out how to move. Alright, let's just go back to our... Our standard camera here. We're up to 72. Going pretty fast here. I think this corner up ahead might be the death of us. We'll see. I mean, you, you're watching this video to see some some train derailment, are you not? Let's focus on this. This could do it. We're up to 80. We're still accelerating really quickly. Oh, it's bowing a little bit. You can hear the stress on the wheels. I think. Oh, oh, god. We lost it. We can still make it. Oh, come on. Probably nobody died in that collision. Or derailment. Due to consistent tilt. Alright, well, I could have told you that. What was my... Sadly, I think my score was actually probably better than it was. Uh, I don't know. Minus 812 for speeding is pretty bad. Yeah, minus 39 for driving sideways is probably pretty poor as well. But anyway, this has been Train Simulator 2012. I mean... If you're looking for a game that's going to be, I hate to say it, lulzy, this is probably not for you, even though it seems like it might be. I actually had a surprisingly pleasant time with it, but 
you know, you're going to know right away if this game is for you or not. As always, thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. All glory to the Steam sale.